bunch of lands here. Real quick, I want to thank the sponsor of this video being Surfshark. Yes, Surfshark VPN, helping to keep you safe as it keeps me safe on the internet. So Surfshark is a virtual private network. What does that mean? Well, basically it means it's going to help keep your data safe on the internet. Yes, we have so much data on the internet nowadays, whether it be like credit cards, we're talking phone numbers, addresses, and this is all data you don't want getting in the wrong hands. So a VPN helps to anonymize your data and keep it safe from hackers and just those nosy people. But it doesn't just keep you safe, it also allows you to access more of the internet. For example, if you live somewhere where you can't access Disney+, Plus, you can use Surfshark to change your geography and then with the change of your location, you'll be able to access Disney+. Plus. It's also unlimited devices, so you can share with your family, your friends, you can use it on your phone, your laptop, like I do. We also have a money back guarantee. And as it's Black Friday and holiday season, guys, use my code JOELH to not only get 83% off, but also four months free. Yes, act quick, guys, because 83% off and four months free. Keep yourself safe, especially when using those public Wi-Fi networks, because I don't want something to happen to you during this holiday season. So with that, go to Surfshark.deals forward slash Joel H, or again, click that link down in the description below. And with that, let's get to the rest of the video. Hey everyone, Joel Hanser. Today we're in Greenville. Yes, Greenville, South Carolina, guys. It's been a long time since I've been to South Carolina, and it's good to be back here outside Bacon Bros, Bacon Brothers, yes, public house, here to do their meat sweats challenge. So what this challenge consists of is a great big barbecue platter. I love barbecue and I gotta get some Carolina barbecue while I'm in the Carolinas. So we have a pound of all their meats, such as like brisket, sausage, ribs. Um, then you have all their sides, which is like beans and uh, collard greens and like uh, French fries, there's a lot more to come. I'll get you all the specifics. You do have one hour to complete the challenge. If you do, you get the meal for free and you get a sweet t-shirt. Um, and if you fail, it is $120. However, what we're doing today and why we are here, guys, is because this is all for charity. Yes, that is right, guys. So we have, it's like $250 or $300 going to charity if I can complete this challenge. So that's really what I'm here for. Um, so yeah, charitable donation, guys. I'm all about giving back. Um, so that's about it. And it's going to, I believe it's called St. Jude Children's Hospital. So, you know, I support our essential workers, support those frontline workers, support our healthcare systems, guys. So, the big barbecue challenge for charity. Let's give it our best, guys. That's what I want to do. Let's get back today. Let's have some fun. Let's eat the food. Let's go. Hi everyone, so we're here with the challenge, and I'm here with a good friend Alex. I was a long time subscriber and supporter of the channel, so always nice to kind of get around and eat with some individuals here. So here we have the challenge, everybody. So again, we have the pound of sausage, the pound of pulled pork, the pound of ribs, and the pound of brisket. All looks very, very delicious. We then have all of their sides, including their french fries, which actually look delicious. We then have collard greens, we have a lima beans and pork, we have their chili with cheese on top, and the chili is made with pulled pork and beef, like brisket, and then we have their grits. They have cheese grits here so definitely a lot of food um, overall this is supposed to be about seven eight pounds Alex you ready I'm ready brother all right so, so Alex is not like a general food challenger we'll say so he's giving it a go either way I'm sure you're gonna do a fantastic job I know he said he's gonna give it his all that's all we can ask for so how about we get started here just momentarily I'll we'll say the count five four three two one let us eat Oh, it's a very tasty rib. Salt the bone, and they do smoke with an oak, one of my favorite woods. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Bacon Bros. Yes, Bacon Bros in Greenville, South Carolina. So this is my first time being on the interior of South Carolina. Previously I've been to Myrtle Beach, I've been to Charleston, but this is my first time being on the interior, so it's cool to kind of see what the inner South Carolina had to offer. Um, and of course, while I was down here, I had to get some Carolina barbecue. So of course, when we were gonna hit up a challenge in the South Carolina area, or in South Carolina to be specific, we're gonna do some Carolina barbecue. And especially because we were talking, doing some charity work, some charitable donations. We have the barbecue sauce here as well. We have a traditional sauce and a mustard sauce. So today, if we we're going to complete the challenge, we we're going to get a donation to St. Jude's uh, Research Children's Hospital, which is freaking awesome. They do a lot of really good work for children all over across the United States. And uh, yeah, definitely, definitely, you know, a big fan of supporting the healthcare systems and uh, definitely need it. And I will say, huge thanks to Alex. Alex set this up. So kudos to him. He rocks for doing all that. I like it. A lot of pepper and a little bit of spice on the ribs. You doing all right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my God, he's almost done with the ribs already. It's not a rage. This is the average Joe versus competitor pro. So, we'll see where we're at. 
the flavors are delicious. Definitely. Mm. Want to try with this pulled pork a bit? I'm probably gonna add some sauce. Try the uh, red sauce. Mm. Sweetness, sweet acidity. Try the Carolina, that's it. Carolina mustard sauce and pork. Mm. Very good flour. I'll put it in about. So the rules of the challenge itself is pretty simple. Eat it in 16 minutes to get the meal for free. Um, and then you're supposed to get a t-shirt. They did tell us on this day that if we did win, we were not gonna get t-shirts. They did not have any at the moment. Um, so again, pretty uh, you know straightforward challenge. I do appreciate that they weighed everything. So they weighed out the pound of pork, they weighed out the pound of brisket, they weighed out the pound of sausage, they weighed out the pound of ribs. Um, the ribs were really good. I really liked them. They were very soft, uh, very tender, but you had a really nice flavor to them. Um, I found overall the barbecue generally had a really light smoke. Um, so if you wanted to use your sauces, you could definitely, uh, you know, get that flavor in there a lot. Um, but it was good. It was all solid food, um, at least to what I had so far. Go over show. <laughs> I'm right. showing you right now what an average Joe versus the competitive pro looks like. He's kicking my butt and I'm trying. He's enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. But men quit. Better, babe. Just swallow like no. Not a, not ready. Swallow like no. Try some sausage. Oh, wow. Mm. I bet the sausage is all good. Those are ribs. How spicy is it? Sausage? Not, not spicy at all. And then of course we had all the sides, but one thing I do appreciate, like I said, because they did weigh everything out, this is a legit about seven pound challenge and it is very consistent through and through. We're about four minutes in, very, very delicious. Just on the sausages, Alex is killing as well. Making his way through everything. And that's it, keep on chunking. Oh man, that's like, it tastes like grits. That's grits, right? It is grits. Delicious. <laughs> I'm getting scared, guys. I'm getting scared. <laughs> <laughs> Alex. Alex is just catching up to you. Catching up to me. Oh, man, I do. Hey, oh, my God. <laughs> Not great. The cost of the challenge is $120 if you do not successfully complete it. Um, so while it is definitely up there, I mean, you are getting barbecue, which is an expensive food item, um, you know, but definitely uh, something which, you know, we are hoping to be able to complete today. Um, again, the sausages were good. Um, Alex heard that they were spicy. I personally did not find them spicy. Maybe like peppery, you know, like a lot of spices, but not heat, not as in like, ow, oh, this is spicy, burning hot, nothing like that. Like I said prior, Alex did set this up, so again, a huge thank you to him again. Um, so Alex is not like a food challenger. This was his first time trying, you know, basically anything like this. And uh, so you can kind of, you know, see, I guess, or have a perspective of, you know, what a um, regular eater, um, although a big eater, he says he's a big eater, you know, compared to someone like myself, kind of really looks like. So probably coming on about six minutes. Everything's really good. The sauce is really good. On some of the brisket, we got some lean and some fatty. Really nice little pieces, so let's give that a try. <laughs> How you doing, Alex? I'm surviving. I'm getting there, baby. Not quick, but I'm trucking along. Mm. That's all that matters. But with that, everybody, I believe that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. Um, comment your favorite kind of barbecue down below. What off this plate would you like to eat most? Maybe it's not even one of the meats. Maybe it's one of the sides. You know, the cheese grits, the chili, or maybe it's that brisket or those soft, juicy, tender ribs. Maybe it's that, you know, peppery sausage. Let me know down below in a comment what your favorite item is. And at that, let's get to the rest of the video. That's a thick piece of brisket. Lots of fat. Yeah, 
I think I'm gonna stick to just good deeds and, and leave Joel to this. <laughs> nice flavor. You guys have to really appreciate what Joel does every challenge because coming from our perspective, me being a follower of his, watching him do it, and then trying it myself, I'm not gonna lie, it's it's colossal when you get here in person. And a lot of us think we can knock this out of the park, but I, I promise you it's, it's a completely different beast when you approach this and I give Joel all the props for this. He's he's killing it and I'm impressed. I appreciate that. There's some work in practice because they're like, Woo! That was a glob of fat. Tastes good though. That was a piece of fat. <laughs> Alright, Alex is making his way through all the meats, giving some of the sides. I'm in, in the sides now. Probably check this uh, <laughs> collard greens. Bro. I don't think I've ever liked collard greens that good. We're probably about nine minutes, 20 seconds in. Try these grits. Cheesy. Yeah, they're really good. I'm not gonna lie to you, he might be that 12 minutes. Where's the end? Where's the end? It's coming down to the prize. You guys want me to beat it? It's coming down to the prize. Got this. Well, you only got the fries left. You want me to beat the record, which I guess is about 12 minutes, so let's chuck some fries. Okay. Five minutes, 15, three seconds. Bro. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> oh my god. Peace. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Amazing. It's funny seeing it first. Yes, it is. insane. Bro, this is making my stomach hurt and I haven't eaten any of it. <laughs> Bro, I'm 10 minutes, 28 seconds. You make me feel like I need to go on a diet and I haven't eaten anything. I told you. He's beast. He's beast record. All right, so somewhere about 11, just 11, 10, something like that. Very, very delicious. Alex is doing well. How you doing, man? <laughs> I, I don't see where he puts it. I'm amazed. I feel like I'm in front of David Blaine now. 
I don't think it's Joel Hansen. That's David Blaine. He's doing some magician stuff right now. So I'm looking around, but I, I'm working on it. But I don't think there's any way possible. I mean, he's a beast, an absolute beast. There's nothing but props to him. I appreciate that. But anyway, man, keep on trucking. It's uh, about that. Okay, so I got really good food. A few shakes of bacon bros here at Death Row. It's stopping out by. Uh, the barbecue meat's really good. I think out of them, part of the ribs are my favorite. Very, very nice, uh, nicely cooked, nicely seasoned. A lot of like good pepper and just flavor on there. Um, nice kind of light smoke on all of it. And they definitely take on the flavors of the sauces, whatever one you want to use, whether you want to go with the more red or the traditional Carolina mustard. Um, French fries really good, nice sauce on them. Um, they did want me to beat the record, so I said fine, I'd do it. But it was very enjoyable, uh, and I really did enjoy it. Even the sides were really nice, the chili, um, the, uh, the the grits is something I'm not used to having. And the beans, the beans were actually like really, really good. This stood out to me. So, that was tune on in. We'll see how Alex does. I am, uh, and yeah, that's about it. Alex so, is about to visit the ER. <laughs> well, nonetheless, we're here to support him. So keep it up, man. Let's, uh, let's keep going and appreciate that. So huge thanks to the, the, everybody here. The hospitality has also been fantastic. So good food, good people. I really appreciate that. Wow. Well, somebody do it that time. I don't think I've ever seen my seen somebody swallow a brisket whole <laughs> in my entire life. Whole oh, hey. thing. It was good, man. Thank you. You might have chewed that brisket a whole three times and then swallowed it. <laughs> what can I say? It's, it's delicious. So I this is what the difference. This is the difference. That's ridiculous. Between <laughs> an average Joe trying to competitively eat without training. Versus someone that does and, and does a kick ass job of doing it. So, this is my plate right now. I'm about to burst. The food and the flavors were absolutely delicious. This is definitely going to be a regular for me now. Cash me finishing up. I'm, 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 are you gonna keep going? Are you finishing? I'm, I'm done. I'm about to die. I can't believe how much. Right. Hard to run, so Alex is gonna stop there, but I will say valiant effort, my friend. You did get to try everything, I think, so you at least gotta try it all. Um, definitely got some nice food. You got a, got a good plate to take home, you know, lunch, breakfast, dinner, whatever you wanna call it. Um, For a few days. Yeah, but anyway, guys, so really appreciate that. Um, again, for completing the challenge today, guys, we are getting a donation to St. Jude's Children's Hospital, so really glad to be able to do this for a good cause, guys. I love to give to charity. It's definitely the way to do it. You have the wife eating some of the French fries, and you'll have some more to take home. So, you know, Alex, thank you again for everything, man. Appreciate you uh, coming out for the support. Appreciate you uh, lining this up. Alex definitely was one to implement this. So uh, here we are today, and uh, huge thanks, like I said, to everybody involved. Until next time, South Carolina, I appreciate you. And uh, at that, at that, just say happy healthy, hungry, happy love the day. Until next time, happy eating. All right, Alex, so your first food challenge experience, how you're, you're, you're saying some words to me that you wish the viewers understood. So I just wanted you to repeat them for everybody. Tell me, tell me a little about your experience today. I want you to listen up and listen up good in the comment section. This challenge, I thought being seven pounds, you know what? An average eater, we can knock it out. We'll stay toe to toe with Joel Hansen, but you know what? I just realized 
that it is not as easy, even close to as easy as it is as he makes it. It is very hard. It probably takes years of prep to do what he did, and I am just in awe of how fast he did it. Me, you know, check my plate right out. Check this out. But you know what? We got leftovers. We got leftovers for days. So with that being said, Joel, you the man. I appreciate him coming out here and giving some support over here in Greenville, South Carolina. You the man. I look forward to your next challenges in Charleston. You guys stay tuned for that. Hey, dude, I appreciate the kindness, appreciate the words, and uh, all for a good cause today, everybody. So there you go. Apparently, the, the comment section Alex comment section, okay? I know some of you guys are watching trolls out there saying it's, it's a piece of cake. It ain't easy, I promise you. Come out here and try one. Follow where he goes, go out there and test it. Hey, until then. And here we are driving through the beautiful Georgia countryside, guys. We are on our way to South Carolina, Greenville, South Carolina. My first time being in that part of South Carolina. I've only been in South Carolina once before for like 48 hours, and that was in the Myrtle Beach and our Charleston area, which we are also heading to Charleston, but stopping in Greenville on the way down. So lots of lots of lots of greenery like this. We've been going through lots of beautiful uh, little cute towns. We just went through one which I believe was called Mary's. Um, I kind of wanted to grab my camera but kind of missed it. A very cute little quaint uh, area with people having, even though it's only a Thursday during the day, like 2 p.m., they were having um, lots of uh, little yard sales and uh, it was really, really cool. So yeah, lots of Georgia countryside here. Georgia is very green, very lush. There's some huge, beautiful properties and uh, Georgia, beautiful. And we we're going right by some outlet malls, so I'm gonna pull on in here. Might as well. I'm gonna looking for a couple shirts uh, and maybe some shorts. Stores I would check out: H&M, uh, maybe The Gap. Um, I saw a sign for Express. Uh, there you go. Express is over there. Express is one of my favorite stores. Um, that's about it of all the ones I see. So there you go. If you're ever wondering, some of the stores that. Mr. Joel would go to. Those are some of them. And h and is usually good for shorts. I like the shirts at Express and uh, good stuff. So let's go shopping. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.